hello students so today we are going to see this uh, new chapter which is known as uh, dns the full form for dns is domain naming system so in this chapter we are going to see uh, the detailed description of uh, dns ip address we are going to see what is ip address and uh, uh, different types of ip address everything we are going to see this and uh, urls what is url and parts of url and uh, the last thing is how the dns works everything we are going to see in this chapter so first of all what is dns so dns means domain naming system okay so every website in a in the internet has a ip address has a ip address but uh, here you can see that we cannot able to memorize all the IP address of a website so here you can see that uh, I'm having a I'm having the IP address of a, uh, is Google okay so this is the IP address of Google so 173.194.37.84 okay so there are so many servers for Google so they are having each IP address for each server okay so you can't able to memorize all this IP address for your particular work so to uh, to to overcome this problem they have created this IP uh, domain okay domain naming services so that uh, there will be a system that will be having a, a data of uh, uh, IP address and their particular names okay uh, this DNS uh, server okay there will be a server for it so when uh, it will be checked by all the browser okay so when you type www.google.com so the browser comes to this uh, DNS server and checks what is the IP address of this google uh, .com, okay so it will take the IP address from this uh, google a DNS server and go to that DNS server and takes the data from there to your computer okay so this is the this this all this action will be uh, finished within fraction of seconds okay so that's what we doesn't know what is uh, DNS okay so these are all the uh, overviews of D DNS so you can you can know this ip address so the next thing is so this is the dns server okay so here they have given one example www.tnschools.gov.in so uh, when the dns server is connected then it shows the ip address of this uh, tnschools.gov.in so that is 35.173. Uh, 69.207 okay so <clears throat> so this is an ip address so this this is particularly a system that system will contain the uh, data of www.tnschools.gov.in okay so uh, here you can see that while typing the web address uh, www.tnschools.gov dns translated into mission friendly ip address uh, and direct your internet connection to the uh, current correct website so uh, this this person american computer scientist paul v amokoptris uh, together with uh, john postal invented this internet dns uh, dns system so he is the administrator of internet uh, internet assignment number authority okay iana so until he died he was known as god of the internets so he knows what is the uh, ip address of every website in this world okay so that's why he is known as god of internet so next uh, next we are going to see this ip address ip address is uh, simply a logical address of network layer so every uh, every system in the internet will have this ip address 
so this is a address that is used to um, identify a system in the internet so there are two types of ip address one is ipv4 and ipv6 so ipv4 is 32 bit uh, address 32 means we are having four fields okay every ip address will have four fields uh, mostly uh, mostly the first uh, uh, two fields are network fields and the last two fields are uh, uh, system field okay network fields and the uh, system field host field so that is host field so the first uh, two uh, first field is 8 bit second field is 8 bit and the third field is also 8 bit and the fourth bit is also 8 bit okay so 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 32 so that's what they have given as 32 bit unique address so there are uh, two types of uh, uh, there are two types of notations here so one is binary notation and one is dotted decimal notation so binary notation will comes in zeros and ones dotted notation will comes in uh, this 128.14 143.16 one so this kind of dotted notation will be there okay so the first byte uh, 182 will be one a uh, 128 will be converted as its uh, binary value and 143 is will be converted to its binary value and uh, one th 137 will be converted to its binary value so every binary values will be combined to form its ip address okay so next is uh, so next is ipv6 ipv6 address is a 128 bit unique address uh, given to a computer system so uh, two to the power 128 uh, options can be given okay so this uh, uh, first 64 bit is a network pixel prefix and the next uh, the 64 is host numbers okay so uh, mostly this four digit is given in hexar hexadecimal number separated by colons okay so um, the 64 bit uh, sorry ipv v6 ip address will be having uh, 64 bit fields two fields will be there so the first field will be a uh, network pixel and the next field will be uh, host pixels okay for host number of a system so the next thing is uniform resource uh, locator which is url so every website will have this url so if you want to share the website then you can use this uh, url to uh, link the or share the web page okay so here you can see that they have given one example http is the protocol and cms.tn.gov.in is the domain name and sites and as uh, uh, sorry slash default slash files slash press release is the folder and the file name at the last okay so which file name is to be accessed will be given at the end okay so the cms.tn.gov.in will is the domain name that will have a ip address of it okay so how to access this ip address is the protocol http and where to access is the folder and which file to be accessed is the file name so uh, there are two types of uh, uh, urls one is absolute url the next thing is a relative url so absolute url will have the uh, uh, full ip uh, full address of the um, full address of the website or a web page a file in a website okay so this will re uh, here you can see that there are similar to the postal address if any of the information is missing then the post will not be able to deliver the right person similarly if any of the four parts is missing then the browser should not be able to link to the specific uh, file so all the four parts of the url must be there in this absolute 
url next is relative url so this is a partial information of the document relative url contains only the file name or the file name with the folder name it can be uh, it can use this type url when the files is not in the same server related to the original document okay so uh, here you can see that this relative url will have very small information but it will be related to this absolute uh, url so uh, here you can see that uh, it will have some partial information about the location of a file or file name or the website okay so uh, with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the dns components and finish this chapter in the next class thank you students